Hi guys, Harry here. Welcome to Scrap Science. Now you may remember, uh, quite a while ago on this channel we made a couple of videos uh, making two halogens. Uh, one video for making bromine and one video for making iodine. And in each of those videos uh, we put the respective halogen into its own uh, little ampule. I'll uh, grab those ampules out now. And here they are. We have our iodine ampule. Now you can see the iodine was a little bit wet when I put it in and it's kind of stuck to the glass there. You can only just see that we've got a little mass of it in the bottom of the ampule there, but I think it still looks good either way. And then we have our bromine, which we also made and ampule, um, possibly two or three milliliters in there. I'm pretty happy with these ampules. Uh, I think they look relatively all right. And I'd quite like to extend my collection that I have so far of uh, the halogens. I'd like to make uh, some more ampules of the other halogens. Now, you probably know there are three other halogens. We have fluorine, we have chlorine, and we have astatine. Uh, two of those, fluorine and astatine, are definitely way out of the scope of this channel in order to synthesize or store. Don't ask me to make fluorine or astatine. I definitely won't do it. Um, actually, I'm not sure what would scare me more, making fluorine or having a ampule full of astatine. They both sound pretty horrific. But either way, that pretty much leaves us with just chlorine that we want uh, in order to finish off our collection of the obtainable halogens. I think they'll all go nicely together as our nice little set of three ampules with the three easy halogens. So that's what we're doing today. We will be uh, making chlorine gas and putting it in an ampule. Honestly, it's probably just gonna be a pretty simple video. Uh, in the end, um, chlorine isn't all that difficult to make and while sealing it in an ampule might pose some challenges. I mean, it is a, a gas rather than a liquid or solid, which are much easier to ampule because you can just put them in the glass test tube and then seal it up. I think it should hopefully uh, not be really all that hard. So to make our ampule, we're just gonna be using test tubes as we did before. Um, however, with the size of test tube that we were using uh, previously, uh, this one, I'm a little bit worried that um, when we put chlorine into it and seal it up, it's really not thick enough to be able to see more well, the nice green color of the chlorine gas. So as a second ampule, we're gonna be doing two uh, I've got a slightly bigger one uh, so that there's one that will be able to actually hopefully see the chlorine in and one which simply uh, the size matches the other two ampules that we have. Now to make the chlorine, we're not going to be stupid like in the other videos and try to make the chlorine using some electrochemical method. While it would be interesting to do, uh, I think really the best way to make chlorine is the same way everyone else does it and that is with TCCA, which is some kind of pool chemical that I have here, trichloroisocyanuric acid and hydrochloric acid. Uh, the TCCA simply oxidizes the hydrochloric acid uh, when concentrated uh, to chlorine gas. You can see I have a little bit here. This is about seven grams, uh, which should be enough to react with around about 10 milliliters of concentrated hydrochloric acid uh, to generate a bit under a liter of chlorine gas, which is way more than we'll need, but consider the fact that when we build an apparatus, uh, we'll need to flush the whole apparatus out uh, with chlorine, make sure all that chlorine's pure, and then uh, put the chlorine into our ampules. So uh, we do have an excess. What we need for the apparatus is just to simply have our TCCA in a flask and then drop uh, hydrochloric acid onto it, uh, same as everyone else does. So I started building this apparatus and then I went to grab my uh, pressure equalized addition funnel and it's bloody broken. Like it was fine when I used it last time. And then I go to grab it out of the box today and the bit where the stopcock normally goes is completely shattered into three pieces. I don't even know how that happens. Like I wasn't even using it or anything. So I've ordered a new one. Uh, but it's not going to be here for quite some time. So we have to improvise something else um, to use as an addition funnel. And really, seeing as we're working on such a small scale, 
uh, I've put together this apparatus here. This is the two-necked flask where we will put our TCCA. Uh, we have our gas takeoff, uh, which will go through a line here, which we will fill our ampules with the gas. I have a little stopper here with a hole in it, and I just have a pipette that we will fill with around 10 milliliters of hydrochloric acid. Um, I'm hoping that will just work fine as it is, seeing as we're dealing with a small enough quantity of hydrochloric acid to just use a pipette like this. So it couldn't really be simpler than that. We just put our TCCA in, uh, we have our hydrochloric acid, we squeeze the bulb up here, it drops the hydrochloric acid down onto the TCCA, chlorine comes out. Initially, we will have a solution of sodium hydroxide to act as a gas scrubber. We don't really want to release too much chlorine. And then after that, we will get our ampules and just fill them up, plug the end, and then go over and seal them with a blowtorch. Final thing to mention is I feel like it's not the best idea to make chlorine here on the desk. Um, while the bench is relatively open, I mean it is outside, um, we do have this big wall kind of sheltering us from the wind and I'd really like to be in a really, really well ventilated area uh, when we make the chlorine. So I'm thinking uh, we just move the setup uh, over onto the driveway here. I think that's a good spot to make chlorine. So why not? Everything looks pretty well set up to me. We have our TCCA, our hydrochloric acid. We've got the chlorine gas line going straight into a sodium hydroxide solution. And we've got our ampules ready to fill with chlorine gas. So we will add a couple of drops of hydrochloric acid. And you can see that chlorine start to be generated. And if I add another drop, you can see all those bubbles coming. Excellent. You might even be able to see just a little bit of yellowing in the flask there. Make a bit more. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, by the way, the heating mantle here is just to hold the flask uh, rather than actually provide heat. We don't need any heat to drive the reaction forward. Also, this, uh, this vinyl tube is just pretty much sacrificial. Um, it's in no way going to stand up to the chlorine running through, uh, but really, it's so cheap, we'll just use it for this one time. Alrighty, they're full, let's go and seal them up. Well, the small ampule, uh, trying to seal that, was a lot trickier than I expected. Uh, it ended up just not working at all. Uh, it was just really too small to work with, uh, with my blowtorch. Uh, but the larger ampule um, was really uh, surprisingly easy to seal. Uh, you can see we have quite a nice rounded off end there. Uh, hopefully that won't break. Uh, and you can see, if we put it on a white background, uh, it's definitely that greenish yellow color of chlorine. We do have uh, chlorine sealed in this ampule, which is exactly uh, what I wanted. But there we have it. While it would have been nice to get an ampule of chlorine the same size as our other two halogens, uh, we do have our completed collection. It would be nice to have a bit of a stronger coloration uh, to our chlorine. It's, it's, it is really faint. Um, 
the only way I can think of to do that would be to make an ampule of like liquid chlorine uh, so that the vapor pressure um, is actually colored and of course the liquid is itself a yellowy green um, I'm definitely not prepared to do that though uh, doing it itself would be hard enough and then storing it uh, with the fear of it just spontaneously exploding due to the internal pressure uh, it's not something I want so uh, this is it for now maybe making liquid chlorine might be fun for a future video I can get the dry ice and everything to condense it but for now uh, this is definitely where we'll leave it I'm very happy with our halogen collection uh, maybe I'll put these in some kind of box or something who knows but I'm happy with them as is uh, so that's that uh, nice simple easy project uh, it's nice to have kind of a break from the complex electrochemistry that we've been doing lately uh, so with that uh, see you later